when it comes to volume this is what sits in the middle strings brass and woodwinds and when it comes to timbre strings that's the most homogeneous one brass and woodwinds being the most homogeneous ones. And we said that the flute has got a beautiful tone throughout all the range, but in the lower range, it doesn't have projection power. The oboe, it's gonna cut through the mix in this range instead. And in this range, it will have projection power, it's just not gonna cut through the mix and you're gonna get a darker tone. Now, if you want a little bit more of weight here in this range, then you're gonna use the English horn. The clarinet shares kind of like the English horn range, but that high range for the clarinet, it gets thin, but it's not a thin type of oboe. It gets thin and loose this power it's better to have the e flat clarinet i like to compare the trumpet with the oboe because the low register for the trumpet is also dark and it doesn't have the projection power so you're gonna hear the trumpets if you've got violins in this range and you're dabbing with trumpets but not as loud as you have violins and trumpets in this range like this middle c up an octave up two octaves and up here the trumpet's gonna sound very very loud uh, so this is solo trumpet in octaves with the fifth in so this is like a trio trumpet for the fanfare type of thing. Then you, you can go a little bit more heroic with triadic chords. And if you double this again down an octave with horns or trombones, you enhance the sound. Then you can double this with staccato strings and uh, you get a little bit bigger, fuller sound. Even when you have this bigger type of... type of sound. Imagine this with percussion type of thing. I like the bassoons and the oboes to mix with brass. It shares some timbrical characteristics and I like that very much. But when it comes to aggression, it blends so well, but in a way that softens the sound, not in a way that enhances the sound. Whereas brass and the strings don't share much in terms of timbre. So having brass and the strings enhances. The strings give to the brass something that the brass doesn't have. So I like that, I like having brass and the strings plus percussion for big, low orchestral stacks. And I just leave the woodwinds doing something else. It's a different musical layer. Let's record the strings here. <laughs> The trombone when you listen to the let's say the three trombones section in a small room that's not meant for brass and if you are sitting close to them or if you're listening to the, the close mics it's not going to sound that big and epic and cinematic you need the room to get that type of sound the typical sound that we are used to when you put them all together with the rest of the orchestra it sounds the way you're used to to hear it, it adds that aggression and brass sound to the mix so we're gonna go with the trombone solo legato So this is how just one trombone with the strings in the mezzo forte kind of thing. It can't go a mezzo forte, but can't control it that much. It's not like strings. So up there, it's gonna be harder to control. That's why with trumpets, same thing. The higher it goes, the more it's gonna stand out. It's gonna be louder than everyone else. And we're gonna go for a trombone solo articulations. <laughs> how it kind of like blends in, but definitely you can hear it. It's very mezzo forte type of thing. Sometimes at this point, here's lower in the register. It's quite low for a trombone down here. Yeah, this is where you wanna have it sitting if you would bring it up. Not realistic. And if you wanted this louder, then you need more weight for the strings. A little bit louder and you need some percussion 
And then the other thing is you can have the trombones, you can have them like triple forte, you've got piano, you've got the mezzo forte, right? Sometimes you can have the strings a little bit louder and trombones and it's kind of like the mezzo forte to forte type of dynamics. And you're gonna get a little bit of the aggression, but with the warmth, still a little bit of the brass warmth. If you go triple forte with brass, you're gonna get that aggression, but you're gonna need some other instruments to compensate. Bigger strings section or some more instrumentation, some more weight. For the solo, it's going to be realistic, for the chords is going to be non-realistic. I just wanted to mimic the dynamics for the strings. With brass light rays, the timbrical change from here to here is it's very abrupt. Even good light rays, when you're transitioning from like the mezzo forte to the forte to fortissimos, you can hear transition and that sounds super fake with samples and I hate that. This first part is beautifully scripted. Beautiful attack as well. Second layer coming in, but very natural the way it enters. Here's the second one. Third one coming in right here. How are you gonna make it sound realistic with brass, especially? Three dynamics. And so that's why sometimes I avoid going up there. I'm either up here already, or I'm down here. Because the transition here is always ugly. If there's too much of a timbre difference from the earlier layer to the next one for it to sound natural. And that is why staccatos generally will sound better. Don't have this transition problem from one layer to the next one. So this is the legato and you can go and assemble short articulation. And here's where we are like, now we're talking. These are trombones. For solo, Sometimes you're gonna push a little bit more of the closer mics because in sample it's a group and the group is bigger, you get a little bit more of the room. Now, we hear a little bit more of that symphonic trombones or cinematic trombone sound. And earlier it was like, ah, it's too small. No, it's not too small. It's the sound of three trombones, right? Solo, solo, solo. Now nine trombones. Kind of like a little bit more of like the room presence and the farther mics. Trombones, low brass and percussion, like quick percussion bit. Uh, signature is gonna be 4 4. Tempo 125. Yeah. Epic Toms. Okay, now, those trombones. So. Right. They 
are there, but it's not like you're gonna hear them a lot. For big percussion, if I get rid of them, you're not gonna hear. It's like the symphonic part, the orchestral side of things are gonna disappear and it's just gonna be perk. And we can go a little bit higher and we're gonna hear them a little bit more. Don't make them too loud. So this is the expression. If I bring it up a little bit more, you're gonna hear them more. Still acceptable, still acceptable, but don't push them too loud. Percussion has more power, if we want, than brass. Think of it this way. If in terms of volume, we've got wood strings, brass, on top of that, usually we have per. If we have something that is meant to sound lower in volume, and we make it sound louder than the other thing above it, that other thing is gonna sound smaller. It's going to make it sound either non-realistic, wrong balance, and this is why it is complicated this all the time. We've got the orchestra or melodic instruments, and then we've got percussion. And if we make the orchestra sound louder than the percussion, then we're gonna lose the epicness and the power and the aggression of percussion, which is what it adds. If we have this louder, it's gonna sound epic, but we're gonna lose all the emotional part of the orchestra to find the right balance. If you want the brass to stand out but still sound big, then you have to simulate like it is a bigger group and then just bring something like Monster Brass. Monster Brass, just so you know, it's a group of 10 musicians. We've got six bass trombones, two contra bass trombones, and two chimbasos. So that is a big group. And that's how you get that sound. It's not a non-realistic sound. It's a non-realistic group. It can go to this low C that you don't see. If on top of that, like you have them in octaves, then it's even bigger, right? So if in general, with brass, I like it more in the like the mezzo forte. I like the mezzo forte, and then just bring it up with volume. because the lower notes are lower sounding instruments and the attack is gonna be slower. So contra bass trombones are gonna have a slightly slower attack than the bass trombones. And so I have them a little bit ahead. So they all sound kind of like insane, but I brought them here. So I get a little bit of the growl, it's like waka. The lowest instrument is coming a little bit earlier than the higher and then the regular tenor trombones. And so we've got like a brass on that instead of like za, it's more like waka. So these guys here. These two guys here, the lower octave, this and this one is the monster brass. Both at the same time, this is higher in velocity. See, it's like 114 and this is more like 105. So this, this one harder, the one that you can't see, and this one a little bit softer. Because I wanted the blend of the two, but a little bit more of that lower, because I feel it's more epic and bigger. And then the tenor trombones. This sounds like just like a joke compared to this, right? But here we go. And you can hear a little bit more of the trombones towards the end, right? Because they are doing this, that, 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 that. There's no one else doing this. There's no big percussion doing anything. Low staccato strings. Here, I'm gonna have the double basses separated because I wanna have control over the double basses. Ah, right, there we go. Yes, it wraps in a way the brass sound instead of fighting against it. It just provides support and kind of like a floor for the brass to sit. You can hear that especially here at the end. Before we could just hear the trombones. They fed a little bit naked and now with the strings we've dressed them a little bit. Just the strings. Everyone. And now we're gonna add the double bass staccato that's gonna go with the monster brass patch just for the first note. The low brass is gonna sound low and it's gonna have that aggression, but it doesn't have the low end that we need too much. So we're gonna bring it down a little. Right, 
just wanted to do a little bit of brass and perk. And there are a thousand more balance examples that we could do, but with the basic ones, we can expand from this.